Okay, really quick tutorial. How do you bring back seemingly lost information, uh, for example, a blown out sky, without affecting the rest of the image? So if you've taken a photo of a building, the building's nicely exposed, how do you bring back the data and the information from that sky if that's been blown out? Now, let's have a look at this image here. We've opened it up within Capture One. We're going to then create a new adjustment layer by adding a gradient mask to the top of it. Now drag that over the entire uh, sky sort of element area and you'll find by, um, as it's identified by the red there, that you're actually going to affect the rest of the image. You're gonna affect the building and the tree. We don't wanna do that. So then click on Luma range. Luma Range enables you to isolate specific highlights or shadows, um, various uh, grades of luminosity within the image, and then only edit those, those elements. We're going to click on Invert Range. Play with the sliders a bit, just to make sure you're capturing all of the clouds that we're going to then edit. Click Apply. You'll now find when we make um, changes to our exposure and our highlights and clarity and things, we're only going to be affecting the sky. Bring your exposure down slightly. Bring, let's have a look, let's bring our highlights down slightly as well. And I always like with skies just to add a bit of clarity, a bit of punch and you're done. Okay, so you can do more, sure, I get it. You can refine it. Um, you may also want to bring back the color slightly because when you bring back that data, bring that information, you're also bringing back the saturation and the color within the image. So you may want to just bring down the saturation slightly, but if we look at the before and after, so you can see clearly it was very, very blown out and we brought back a ton of information without affecting the main image itself. So before, after, before, after. So you've just by a couple of clicks, adding that adjustment layer, the gradient um, uh, mask there, and then identifying which specific parts of the luminosity you want to edit by going into Luma range um, and then doing your edits. Uh, you've just affected the sky. You've brought back that information and you're not affecting the rest of your image. You can then create a new adjustment layer or work from the background to edit and amend the rest of your image. Bring out some of the, the shadows, for example, and the details within the image itself. So there you go, really, really simple. Takes a couple of minutes, worth doing on um, on most of your on your, your photos, really. We Let's be fair, we don't always perfectly expose for everything. So just spending an extra couple of minutes, just tweaking, just refining, just using the Luma range. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. If you like this video, I would appreciate a subscribe and a like. It helps. I'm new to this and um, every subscription, every comment, whether it's good or bad, helps me with, uh, well, just helps me it's encouragement to, to do better and to do more. So um, I would appreciate, I'd appreciate anything you've got to say, but I hope you like this little tip here. I'm learning Capture One because I'm new to the Fuji system-ish and um, I've gone from Lightroom and Canon and that sort of thing. And this is a whole new system to me. So Luma Range is something I use within Lightroom, um, Luminosity. Uh, and it's something that I'm really glad is now within Capture One and um, something you definitely should be using. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.